Hey guys, in today's tutorial we are creating this impressive image text effect you see right here and we are using Affinity Designer version 2 for this and to create this text effect we are using the clipping mask feature and to start we need a new clean document we need to navigate to the graphic text tool to type in our graphic text we want to transform so in our case we want to type in wave make it bigger and move it in the middle of our document by having snapping activated and it's very important to choose a cool um, font for this text effect so in this case i've chosen druid making it bigger again and moving in the middle and now we need of course the image we want to display instead of the text or as text so the image inside this text and i've chosen a wave image from unsplash.com searched for wave and simply downloaded this image right here and drag and dropped it inside Affinity Designer. I already did this and I can make it visible now. And typically the image is really big because it typically has a high resolution on um, Unsplash. So you first need to resize this image, something like this. And the next step is to hold down this image and move it above the vector or object or text you want to use um, to display this image, but only the parts of the object you want to display. So you want to create a clipping mask and then simply drop it. And then you have the text with this little error where you can see what is um, masked by this, in this case, text or vector or object you can use. And then we need to resize this image and as you can see we only see um, the parts of the image that are inside this text and we now need to resize and adjust to our needs so in our case something like this will look good i think maybe like this and to make it look even cooler we are removing the filling of our um, text so we don't have little black borders or something like this and to um, also increase um, the, um, the style we are selecting this image we are going right here to adjustments and we are adding some vibrance not exposure some vibrance so going back one step going to vibrance and then to saturation and something like 50 percent will look cool or 40 i think for this image and clicking on merge and we can also make it look even cooler by going to this text again going to quick fx and going to outer shadow black something like 50 percent opacity and 30 radius and 30 offset maybe and angle we're going with 315 degrees and now we could also choose to um, change the background color but that's all up to you we are now finished with this basic text effect and that's gonna do for today's video if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye